This is an easy explanation of how you can use dependency date shifting in Notion. To demo this, I'm going to pull up the projects and tasks template from the template gallery. To start, a dependency is a way for you to connect two different items in a database that are dependent on each other. For example, if I wanted to learn how to ride a bike, it is dependent on me having a bike, so one cannot happen without the other. To turn on dependencies, go to the menu, hit dependencies and turn on, you'll see three different items, shift only when dates overlap, shift and maintain time between tasks, or do not automatically shift. I'll show what each of these look like visually on a timeline view. So first you'll see I don't have any dependencies set, so I need to go and create them. I'm going to add end dates to all of my dates so we can visually see this better. Going back to the timeline, it's now time to create our dependencies. You can do this by dragging and dropping the arrow in any of the tasks. Now that I'm building them out, you can see which items are dependent on each other. So in this example, add a new task is dependent on building data dashboards. And now invite team members is dependent on adding a new task. You may remember we first set dependencies to shift only when dates overlap. This is what it looks like visually. So if any of the tasks overlap with each other, they move so that the dates don't overlap. Now let's visualize the next dependency date shifting type, shift and maintain time between tasks. So what this means is that I always wanna maintain the same amount of time in between tasks. So you'll see as I drag and drop this, it will maintain that same time frame. You will see though, as I drag it through the weekend, the time in between tasks seemingly gets bigger, but it's just avoiding weekends. And you can toggle this on by going to dependencies and avoid weekends. And lastly, we'll go to do not automatically shift and visualize what that looks like. So as I drag and drop any of these tasks, you'll see that there's no date shifting in between each. If the arrow does not make sense, like the blocking task is dependent on a task that has a start time before it ends, it will show up in red so you can see that it is invalid. Finally, if you wanted any of the blockers to show up in your other views, you can simply unhide the property from the table. And that was the overview of dependency date shifting. Let me know what you want to learn next.